What up my comic book heads, Super Nerd 81 here, and for the very first time, very first time, I'm bringing to you my co-host, my lovely, beautiful, talented, whatever she wants to hear, wife, Mrs. Super Nerd 81, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, baby. Doing good? Oh, yeah. oh call me baby, good start already, <laughs> good start already. Alright, today we are talking about the Netflix series Death Note and the anime Death Note. Now, for, for those of you that guys don't know... You guys should know this by now. Netflix released Death Note, and um, they did like a live action, live action version of it. And Tim, what do you think? <laughs> well, um, I actually watched the Netflix uh, movie first, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh my god, this is freaking amazing!" Uh, like, she was like all about like how great it was. And I everything. love this. It's great. Like I was all about it. Mm -hmm. And you, and then you posed a challenge to me. That I did. And you told me, why don't you check out an episode of the anime um, TV series that's on Netflix as well, mm -hmm. uh, the the actual cartoon, you know, version. And I was like, okay, well, well, let me. A as a clarification, it is not cartoon; it is an anime. Okay, as a <laughs> anime version, Thank like you. you asked me to. <laughs> um, and I was like, okay, I'll do this for him. I'm, I just really kind of wanted to be able to say I like the movie better. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, she did. <laughs> but that didn't happen. I actually ended up watching the entire thirty seven episodes of the anime series. Saturday was a boring day in the in the super nerdy one household. I well, I I can go through some binge watching, you know that. Oh well, so. yeah, she can. Um but I got really wrapped up in it mm. and I gotta say, I really love this series. You did? Yeah. I'm, I actually want to find out. I know there's way more to it, and oh, there's yeah. so many other mm -hmm. in the the manga and all that mm -hmm. other. There's other things. Oh so. yeah, in the manga, I think the manga's uh, is it manga or manga? The manga manga. I don't oh, know. potato I, potato. Exactly, same thing. Okay. But a lot of people would say, no, it's not. <laughs> so anyway, well, so we're we're gonna be talking about both series, right? Yeah. We're going to be talking about the Netflix and the anime. Which one do you want to start out with first since you are my guest? Let's start out with the movie because that's the one I saw first. Okay, so let's go ahead and start about the Netflix uh, Death Note. So, overall, what did you think about it? What What was your... Because let, let's go into this where because you are um, kind of, um, an, uh, I would say, like a novice with, with anime. Yeah, and, and with it, so with all of this stuff. Um, so really. let's go ahead. And what what was what was the thing that drew this to you? Why 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 did you want to watch this? Um, honestly, it just popped up on my Facebook, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I heard you talking about it, and I saw on your channel you did a review on it too, Super Nerd Eighty One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> <Plugged>. um, <laughs> and so I was like, well, you kind of made me want to watch it mm -hmm. because you explained it and i was like you know what this sounds like something that might be kind of interesting i kind of just was drawn to it mainly because of the character ryuk uh, the... i thought the guy william defoe mm -hmm. who plays him mm -hmm. was so phenomenal yes, he was he was really and i good. just love him and like everything mm -hmm. you know um spider-man and everything as green goblin like he's amazing so the the one thing about william defoe is i want to say is that he is very i want to say charismatic i guess is the right word to say mm -hmm. he when he acts like I, I i think one of the main things i remember him is in boondock saints i never saw that oh uh, it, it's another great movie that he was in he plays an fbi agent who's very um you know like kind of like crazy kind of like l actually kind of like oh, okay no I, I wouldn't say well l in the netflix it's series ex eccentric yeah exactly mm -hmm. and you know but he's great at solving cases and everything so that's why they hired him to go over there so i would say that you know the the um boondock saints kind of you know like rolled in a little bit but yeah nah, that's my personal thing yeah all right well i i enjoyed it mm -hmm. um I think when I watched the anime uh, TV series, though, I got a fuller picture mm -hmm. of this whole story. Whereas the Death Note uh, Netflix series, uh, or sorry, um, original movie, or is that what it's called? Netflix original? Yeah, original, yeah. 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 Whatever, yeah. whatever it is. Well, you're right, you're right. Yeah. I don't feel like it did it justice whatsoever. Mm -hmm, I agree. And I can say that now because I've seen the other one. Mm -hmm. I agree 100%. There's just, the layers of the characters aren't there. Um, even L, I thought I liked him like a lot in the Netflix series, but when I saw him in the actual mm -hmm. anime version, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is nothing compared to. I agree with that. Yeah. Like, like, let's go ahead and talk about L. Is that, you know, want to talk about L That's a little fine. bit? All right. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and talk about L, which was, uh, 
in the Netflix is played by Lakeith, Lakeith Stranfield, which, you know, he was on movies like uh, one that he was most famous for is Get Out of Compton. He was in that one. I never saw straight that. Out straight, like, out yeah, Com- straight Out of Compton. Yeah, Straight Out of Compton. Compton. <laughs> it's the same Get thing. Get Out of Compton. <laughs> it's the same thing. Well, he, he's in that one. I forgot who he plays, but they say he did an excellent job in this one. I don't think that he got the L character right at all. I just think that when they asked him to do this, they he just saw maybe a couple episodes, but that's not L. Like L in the anime is very, very, I would say monotone. I would say very, very, you know, oh, yeah. drone kind of, you know, like kind of mm-hmm. sound like he's depressed. Yeah. And, but with he's the, very introverted. Yeah. He's very to himself. Mm-hmm. And in this one right here, and in the Netflix series, I thought that he was more like, wow, you know, like more eccentric, more wiry, more little, little, little more, you know, like, um, I see that now. Quirky. Yeah. As you want to say. But I, and, and to me, like when I was watching them, well, that's not L. I don't think they captured that in the Netflix mm-hmm. movie, his eccent- eccentricity, his, uh, the, what makes him special. Yeah. I don't think they tr- captured that whatsoever yeah. in the actual Netflix, um, and and also like with um with L's character also is that he is a one he's like a great detective he's really good at what he does, and in this one I just feel like in the Netflix series they just dulled him down. Yeah. Like he wasn't as sharp as he was as in the anime, and I get you know like the whole you know like you know, anime can do so much more because because they're not real and you know everything like that. But I just don't think that it wasn't a right casting, and then a lot of people actually didn't like him. Because he's African American and else Asian. See, I didn't have a problem with the race either. part of it yeah. so much because I didn't even know what the anime series was until you introduced me to it. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know what I was watching versus what maybe the character's supposed to look like yeah. or you know how people envision them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't feel like I also feel like it rushed things. The yes. Netflix movie, mm-hmm. it felt like so quick, right? Mm-hmm. I think because you know, like I mean. Death Note, the anime, is such a long, you know, it's 36 episodes, so there's yeah. a lot going on. There's a lot There's a lot in those episodes. 37. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. 37. There's just a lot. Now that, that I'm a seasoned anime oh, watcher. Oh, it's one anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one series <laughs> under my belt here. <laughs> but um, w- with all that, you know, with all that knowledge and all that stuff, they couldn't cram it all into an hour and something minute movie. Well, I th- I think they could have made it longer. I mean, there's definitely longer movies. They yeah. have Harry Potter and all those things. Those are longer yeah, movies. Like Lord of the Rings. Those are three hours yeah, long. Yeah, Netflix you know? could have extended it if they needed to to do it justice. I wouldn't have minded that if it was a good movie. Mm-hmm. I agree. You I agree. know, unless mm-hmm. I felt like, oh my gosh, I wish this was over because mm-hmm. it's like so bad. Yeah. Whatever, <laughs> you know, that could have happened too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't bad though. Mm-hmm. It ah. just wasn't as good as this, as the anime. Yeah, I I would say like I mean w- with me of course you know how I am mm-hmm. you know like I I'm I'm very very I love to stick to the origin and I know right. Hollywood likes to mix things up you know not add certain things and w- when you want to see that stuff added but it's just that w- with Death Note it was just like more it, they they these these uh, the director just saw it and just here you go you know like the writers just the writers just is what messed it up because. I don't think that the writers. This is the the problem I have with Hollywood. Yeah, is when they, they don't do, do some research. exactly the the they just like say okay Netflix they do maybe do like a little bit of research, mm-hmm. but they don't do like the full essence. They like water, water, water it down. That's like yeah, put to the point where it's just diluted beyond belief. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, you want to go ahead and uh, move on to uh, Light's character. Yeah, we can talk about Light. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right, so. In the Netflix series, his name is Light Turner. And, of course, being in uh, Seattle, um, it's it's an American name. Light, you know, and last name is Turner. And he is a white boy. Yes, he is a white boy. I I did not like his character whatsoever. I thought Nat Wolf, who just just didn't have the essence of Light. It's, it's He didn't, like, Light is such a complex character. He's my favorite character. I know that. Light yeah. is my favorite character. And I and he didn't grab that that at all. It just it just felt like just a white guy who was just like wearing a costume, exactly. but not the person. Exactly. Right? And it was just like, you know, he was like he was smart, mm-hmm. but he wasn't as smart as Light is as in the anime. Light is a damn near genius. 
I'd say an evil genius. Oh yeah, I would say yeah. an evil genius, and he because he, what he's doing, I feel, is wrong. Yeah, exactly. Well, he feels is right. Yeah, he feels is right, but of course, you know, like other people see that as like, hey, you know, that's kind of wrong. But you know, like it just just the, the the actor just did not hit it on the head at all. Mm. He just was not good at at all at all. <laughs> I did not like him at all. What would you think? Well, because I, like, I, again, because I had seen the Netflix movie mm-hmm. before watching the anime, I thought it was fine. Mm-hmm. But that's because I had nothing to compare it to. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like those people who watch the Harry Potter movies, but they don't read the books. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. like, didn't you read the book? Didn't you read the book? <laughs> like, the book is so much better than the movie, man. Like like with Game of Thrones, too. A yeah. lot of people with Game of Thrones do that, too. I've never read the Game of Thrones book. I will not read them because, <laughs> one, you have to read. I'd rather listen to the other book. Give me the audio book. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so so you seen that you liked him as, as like... I mean, he was all right mm-hmm. because I didn't know what I was missing mm-hmm. until... You know, now the anime version is, that's the only one that I'll ever think of as Light Yagami. Mm. That's it. Ooh, she knows the last name too. I'm very bad with the Japanese names, but this one right here, she's got it. Well, Light's such an easy thing to remember, but Yagami is the last name, right? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, just forget that. Well, I just watched 37 episodes of it, so it's fresh in my mind. (laughs) Yes, you did. I just finished it yesterday Oh, you just finished it last night, Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, okay. So, let's go ahead and move on a little bit. Let's go ahead, let's talk about... The Shimagamis. One- <laughs> the what? Shimagamis. The Shimagami, yes. We are going to talk about the one thing that saved this uh, movie. Yes. Wait, wait, I forgot. What is that? Duh. Who? Ryuk. <laughs> That's right. We're going to talk about Ryuk, which is the best Shimagami, my my opinion. Mm-hmm. I loved William Defoe's as Ryuk. He is what saved this movie. Yeah. You know, like from He's g- what actually made me want to watch it. Yeah, exactly. Like I told you. Yeah, yeah. I saw the preview and I was like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. he is fantastic. I got to see this just to see what he looks yeah. like. Yeah. Now, um, the, the Japanese people, they already did a live action version of uh, Death Note. Like on Broadway? Well, no, they actually did a musical, yes. Oh, good lord. But, um, <laughs> but they did a live action one with, um, with a real um, CGI and everything. But he looked, to me, this real looked better he looked like like he looked like a real like shimigami was there yeah he looked really good and william defoe's voice was spot on he when when i saw like little interviews here and there when he was talking about the character Mm -hmm. he actually did his research yeah he actually did his research and then like i said he's such a charismatic uh actor i think he's a method actor yes he is he he was real yeah i felt so i felt like Mm -hmm. he was and honestly watching the Netflix version and seeing him as Ryuk made me kind of wonder what was the anime series mm-hmm. like? What is he going to look like there? How's mm-hmm. his personality going to be, you know? And I thought he did spot on job. Like, um, yeah. you know, like he did an amazing job as Ryuk. I just loved his interactions when he uh, would light. And, um, oh, that's one thing I want to talk about really quick. What? The first, uh, when Light meets Ryuk for the first time. Yeah. Light screams like a little bitch. I'm sorry. Light <laughs> in Turner. In the Netflix movie? Yes. Light yeah. Turner screams like a little bitch. Now, yeah, in the anime, <laughs> this is badass. Light Yagami, I said his name right, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sees Ryuk. He screams. Like, you know, ah, you know like, like, a, like a little girl. But then he just gets relaxed and just says, so you're a Shimigami. And he was just like, wasn't scared no like, more. what's up, homie? Yeah, exactly. When in, in this one, he <laughs> Welcome was... Welcome to my room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, um, and and in the Netflix, he was just like, ah, ah, yeah. ah, ah. Just like, it was a bit overdone, for sure. It was. And so, like, um, I mean, that that's that's the whole different thing in the in the whole thing that I love the anime ver- versus the Netflix ver- uh, I love that. Yeah. version a little bit more. Right. But yeah, so so let's talk about more about William Defoe because, like I said, mm-hmm. he he did an amazing job. When Ryuk was ever in it, I I, I smiled. Yeah, because I thought it was bomb. I think he is a good, perfect mixture of funny and sinister, and you know, just kind of like self-serving. But he's also very like, you know, he he he's still kind of like can get wrapped up in the world that he's in, yeah. the human world. Even though he tries not to, yeah. he finds humans so interesting right. that he, he can't help but get wrapped up in it. And it's kind of interesting to watch him kind of experience things for the first time in the human world and see how things are going on and the way people interact with one yeah. another and things that happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so definitely Ryuk is what saved the Netflix version. Now, in the anime, Ryuk is more 
laid back, more chilling, more... He's funny. Yeah, he's funnier, yeah. I would actually liken him to, now that I'm looking mm-hmm. at his picture on here, actually, I would liken him to that Beetlejuice from the cartoon Beetlejuice. I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I see it, yeah. A little bit, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, I do see that. Um, the personality and everything, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very, very... Yeah, I see that now. It's yeah. very like Beetlejuice, yeah. And let's go ahead and talk about... One thing that actually was staying constant in this um, whole entire uh, between the the two, and that was an a- apple. Yep. Now, now Ryuk you know. Loves apples. Yes. Now you know why Ryuk loves apples. Please tell the people why why a Shimigami loves uh, human apples. I'm not sure. Is it be- well? I mean, I, I know he brought one back from his realm, mm-hmm. and they were like. It looked like that thing looked like a like a chili pepper. It was nasty, and mm-hmm. I think he chew, bit into it, and it was gross. So, mm-hmm. um, I, I'm not really too sure. Actually, that one you got me on that one. What yeah. they even say? He says it. What is he? Because they're juicy? No, no, no. Because because the the human <laughs> apples are like you know how we are addicted to caffeine, nicotine, and all that stuff, and I and all you know tobacco. We're addicted to that. Yeah. That's his addiction. It's a healthy addiction. Right. Yeah, so if he doesn't... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, his, it's something that he enjoys Exa- in is the it? human world. Exactly. So it's just like him, like like us, and he lighting goes up a withdrawals. cigarette. Yeah, and he goes through withdrawals, which yeah. is so funny. I thought, in, in the anime, I just thought it was so funny how in the, he was going through the withdrawals. He was spinning around, yeah. doing circles. Standing yeah. on his head. Yeah, he's all, light it. I need <laughs> an apple. Give me an apple. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I loved about the whole between the genres is that they... Um, stuck with an apple and how Ryuk eats the apple in the in the Netflix and of course he eats him in the yeah but I didn't really see him enjoying them as much in the Netflix series yeah. as or not the Netflix in the Netflix movie as mm-hmm. he did in the anime series yeah I agree with you on that right? one yeah it was I just, mean they he just really, ate it and... he really he really <laughs> likes apples especially in the anime series yes now let's go ahead and let's start moving things on a little bit let's go ahead and talk about one more character which you didn't like in the anime. I didn't like either. I thought she was really annoying. And that is, in the Netflix, her name is Mai. No. And, what is it? Misa Amani. No, no, that's in the anime. Oh, in the Netflix? Yeah, yeah it's Mai. Yeah. Sorry. It's Mai in the anime, which is, becomes Light's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And then there is, what's her name? Misa? Misa Amani. Misa Amani, which is in the anime, which she is... Um, Dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But she <laughs> wants to be Light's uh, girlfriend in Light's world, basically. And um, she's actually, um, she has a, a death note, too. But in the Netflix series, she just becomes obsessed with killing. Yeah, they, ma- they make her look more deranged in the mm-hmm. Netflix movie than than her character in the anime series, where she's just another, she's another person like Light, who mm-hmm. has a death note, who has a Shimigami. Mm-hmm who you know has certain abilities and stuff like that so and, and i kind of wish they transferred that over to netflix because i thought that would have made it a little Me bit too. more interesting i miss the shimigami yeah. eyes uh, yes yes i know the shimigami eyes. and honestly they didn't mention or did they no. in, the, in the netflix no they i don't think they did i i'll have to rewatch the movie because yeah. honestly now that i've watched the series um anime series i kind of want to watch the movie again i I, like, I don't think they mentioned shimigami eyes uh, no, I don't remember yeah. uh, them mentioning that. And that's a really awesome, fun mm. thing that they could have added to it. Because mm. the whole thing behind it is if you make a deal with the Shimigami uh, and you um, you ask for their eyesight, basically, you have to give up half of your rest- remaining human life. So if you're going to live for 50 years, you have to give up 25 years of your life to be able to see what a Shimigami can see which is basically the lifespan of any of the people that he looks at lifespan and he most important because there are she mm-hmm. shimigamis too. but most important the name oh and the name yes. sorry yeah yes. which is helpful when people are using aliases or you know whatever you can't Be- find because their name. there's a lot of aliases used in the anime because um let's go with light you know figuring out their names and everything writing them in, th- in the notebook and boom they're dead now um let's talk about kira let's yes. let's talk about that one let's yeah. go ahead and, and um we're moving along to kira now kira is the code name that light picks out in the anime for him uh so he's not of course not caught mm-hmm. um but in the netflix version they just look through a book and they said oh i'm gonna land on kira. this one right here it's just like 
No, Light came up with the name Kira, mm-hmm. and he just well, and then yeah, they don't delve into mm-hmm. it too much in the Netflix. Movie. And and the Netflix series, he's called Kira, but they just look in a book and it means Japanese for. Do you do you remember what it meant? I thought it meant light. Yeah, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think that's what it meant. Was Which light. is stupid because it's like, if they found out, like, you don't think they put two and two together? His name is Light and Kira means light I in guess. Japanese. I guess. Okay, well, since you talked about that, let's go ahead and before we get into Kira a little bit, mm-hmm. let's talk about the intelligence between the Netflix and the anime between Light and L. Yeah. That's, this is one big part. Is that in the Netflix series, they were stupid. I'm sorry. Both of them were stupid. Um, I'm gonna give a little bit of credit to the right. Netflix. Uh, well, okay, movie. Let, let's hear your let's hear your thing. So what I liked about what they did in the Netflix um, movie for Death Note is, uh, L has a sidekick or a a gentleman who's looked after him most of his life, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's Asian. Yeah, I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. I'm mm-hmm. bad with uh, that. But um, in the series, he uh, or I'm sorry, in the movie on Netflix, he ends up trying to find out L's name, uh, Light ends up trying to find out L's name mm-hmm. by possessing his, uh, I don't know, his partner or whatever, mm-hmm. and asking him to go to the place where he's from and try to find out his real name because not even he really knows his real name. So what I liked about it is I think that, you know, it was really interesting that um, he had kind of somebody that meant something to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and Light really overstepped by, um, in the spoiler alert, he ends up killing him. Mm-hmm. Um, he, not purposely, though. He he had intended to burn it after uh, a certain amount of time, which would then reverse the effects of writing his name in the notebook. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't get to him in time, and he ends up killing him. So that gives L even more of a reason to be like, F you, bro. Like, you killed my, you know, dad, basically. He's like a dad to him. Yeah. So um, what I liked about it is... I don't think they really played that part too much in the anime series. Mm -hmm. You don't really hear that much about, um, other than Watney, who's the... The guy that that is, yeah. Kind of like Alfred. I think that's his name, too, in the the Netflix, yeah. Oh, it is? I think I'm not the only that. Well, it's something in Mm -hmm. Japanese. The guy is Japanese and, or Chinese and, uh... Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, there's no Chinese. Different, Okay, Japanese. Okay. We have Shimigamis running around here. Yes, we do. We have one <laughs> Shimigami running around here right now. It's not it's not Ryok. We wish it was. <laughs> I don't know. If you saw Ryok, would you would you get all freaked out? Um, yeah, it's a little <laughs> different. It's one thing to like watch it on a screen and it be desensitized to it because it's not real life and for to see one in real life, yeah. I'm sure. Alright. <laughs> so okay. So we're gonna go to the intelligence battle, like I said. Um I did not like L with this and and light honestly at all in this because they were just like i said they're both dumb i'm sorry but in the anime they are mind mind battling each other left and right i'd say they're equally mad yes i i would agree with that yeah like l was um getting close to him and then light back you know took him away like you know from thinking that he was kira and then um l was getting a little bit ahead but then light fought there was just such a great Battle of Back the Minds. And forth, yeah. yeah, there's a great battle of the minds between those two. Yeah. And in the Netflix they were just like dumb. I'm sorry, Light mm-hmm. was dumb mm-hmm. and then um L was just dumb in the Netflix series too because at at the towards the end, um L was just like, you know, like all obsessed with getting light because he killed that one guy and, and in the Netflix he doesn't show no emotion like that. Right. You know, he's very like I said, monotone. He's very like, you know, like if if you know, it it just just was so just dumb. Yeah, it, it was. He really didn't like. Oh it. no, I, I, I'm sorry. The <laughs> Netflix version was just shit. I okay. mean, it was just straight up just shit. I want to rewatch it just to see because I'm sure I'll feel the same way after yeah. I rewatch it after watching the well, anime you, series. You'll do that on your own. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So yeah, so I just didn't like the 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 mind battle wasn't there like it is in the anime, and I really wish it was because it would have made it a lot lot better. Mm-hmm. And so um. So what, what do you what do you think? Well, I want to ask you something. Yeah. So just curious because as I was watching the movie and the anime series, mm-hmm. I was like, if I had this power, would I actually use it? Like, would I be able to do this? So 
And I guess my question is, like, would you ever feel like you would be able to use a Death Note or want to use a Death Note? And, like, is that something that you, if you came in, to, if it came into your possession, you would actually use? Think yes. about it before you answer. Yes. I knew you were just going to go right to yes. No, 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 no. I would. That's a little disconcerting. <laughs> but, I, I mean, like, I, I would, I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I am not smart enough to. I would get caught within the first five seconds of all using the Death Note. <laughs> because I am not, I am not, like, no tactician or anything like that when it comes to that stuff. I'll be writing names down, <laughs> like, you know, causing them, like, how they die and everything like that. And then it'll just come back to me somehow. And They'd then, be able yeah. to trace it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I would not. <laughs> um, I think it'd be kind of cool to be able to see a Shimigami, but even in the um, anime series, they state that it's kind of like you're cursed when you're you end up coming um, into possession of a Death Note or um, being in the presence of a Shimigami. So, um, no, I, I probably would not because nope. I don't feel like I have the right to judge other people. I retract my answer. Then I forgot about all that. Forgot about being <laughs> I, I forgot about being the cursed part. Yes. Well, yeah. I retract everything. There's a lot of there's a lot of rules in that Death Note <laughs> that you have to read carefully. Yeah, and there's did a you, ton of rules. Did you know? Note, did you Death notice Note. that there was like I think a hundred rules in the Netflix version of the Death Note? Do you know how many rules are in the anime? I don't. They kind of just went and like sh showed you a little piece each time mm -hmm. that kind of coincided with what was going on in the episode, and mm -hmm. it was really interesting to read that. But I, I would be interested to find out exactly um, how much, mm. how many there are versus the Netflix. Yeah, because in the Netflix they said there's like about a hundred. I think there's yeah. like about a hundred uh, rules. Yeah. And 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 you're right. And in the anime of the um, of, I mean the anime, it's just I think there was just like you know they didn't give a number. They didn't really no. Yeah. They didn't specify at all. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, what else? I mean, it's it's a great series. I would recommend watching it. Yes. I'm talking about the anime uh, TV series, not the Netflix. Yes, uh, movie. Yeah, definitely, definitely watch the anime. It is a very, very, very good anime. I loved it. When I first started watching it, I wasn't too sure about it. But then when I started watching it, and then um, and then I heard that they were announcing the Netflix, I was kind of excited for the Netflix because you know, like I'm all, hey, maybe they might do it right. Right. But they, they didn't. didn't. So yeah, definitely watch the anime. Well, I wonder if um, a lot of the people who are hardcore anime fans, because I just started watching anime after you you know showed mm. me that series, um, are outraged by oh. the. Netflix version are they? Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh, they are. That's I could understand that. Yeah. Is it really? If you try to compare the two, they're not anything like each other. Yeah, definitely. They are definitely outrageous. Night and day. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's all the time we have for today about this. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Thanks for having me. That was. Me. Um, once again, always uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, two geek reviews. Can I say one more thing? Sure, yeah, go ahead. So I have this idea for oh. a video for you. Okay. But I don't know if you'd be open to it or not. What is it? It's a little bit out there because uh -huh. I know like you're like terrified of clowns. <laughs> 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 so I was like thinking it would be kind of cool to like for you to watch the It trailer <laughs> if you were up to it one of these times and see your reaction. <laughs> oh. Okay, for you guys who don't know. It would have been living under a rock. It just recently came out last week. Mm -hmm. And I have, I personally have, do have a fear of clowns. But yet, the one thing is, though, I could look at the Joker just fine. He scares me. Like, he, I do get scared when I see him because he, he looks scary in some pictures. Yeah. Um, but I have a fear of clowns. Um, right. I've always had a fear a, of clowns. It's a piercing fear. Like, yeah. He can't even see pictures of them. Mm -mm. Like, and I was, anything like that. And then, like, for that whole week... There was nothing but it reviews, and I was not on YouTube because I didn't want to see those it reviews anymore. So or Facebook uh, yeah. or Facebook, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. You heard it here first, All guys. Right. I'll definitely he do it. He said he'd do it, so you have to hold him to it, guys. Yes, definitely, we'll do it. So please like, leave a comment below if you want me to do it. Yeah, yeah, and like up the yeah. video and like up the video. Leave a comment. Uh, this is gonna be on two geek uh, two geek reviews. So. Um, Thank you for joining me, Mrs. Mrs. 81. You're welcome. Super Nerd 81 to Miss, you, buddy. Oh, oh, sorry. Mrs. <laughs> Super Nerd 81. All right. I am Super Nerd 81. I'll catch you guys later and peace. Bye.